Hello YouTube, uh, you guys, and I'm happy about this, actually asked for this deck profile, and I'm happy because it means you guys are actually taking an interest in Buddy Fight, which just makes me happy. Um, I'm finally back in the game, because I found an Evil Demon case split for cheap, shout out to Brian, and the deck is hysterical and it's so fun. So I'm running, uh, the white flag because Eduardo gave it to me for free so I didn't need to buy one. Uh, your buddy is Evil Demonic Dragon Lupus because, honestly, one of the best cards, and, like, buddy calling in this deck low-key can be kind of a neg, so it's the only monster with a good effect that has, that if your life is above one, it can still get it off to the fullest. Like, Belial and Envy, if you have over one life, their effects won't be full. Lupus, it's if your life is six or less. So if your life is at five, like one, you can still buddy call and still get the two draws because you don't need to have one life. And also as a dog. I'll get into what its effect does when I get to it in the main deck. Uh, right now we're running four copies of Extermination, Evil Demonic Dragon, Belial. We're running it at four because Daryl Burke is still a 20 something dollar card and it's getting reprinted in like three weeks in the bots versus gear god deck so i don't feel like buying it when that reprint happens i'm gonna try um cut belial down to two and run two copies of daryl because there are so many ways of both searching belial out but also salvaging it from drop so like you really only need the two copies and daryl itself is one of the ways that you can search it so it's something you can get cut after that but if you already have Daryl's, you can make that change right now. Really good card. It's a 13, 3, 13, 3 gauge. Um, it can't be destroyed or bounced, and its crit can't be reduced. That's all just inherent to its own effect. Really nice. And if you have one life, it gets penetrate, and its uh, crit becomes 6, 6, 6. And it inherently has move and triple attack. So basically, if you have a one life and this hits, you win. So yeah, really cool card. Beat people to death. The adult version of closing all your school tabs is closing all your cooking tabs. I had a minced ginger, had a teaspoons of four cloves of garlic. What the fuck is pinch or dash of anything? How to boil water faster. Same. Uh, next is like high key the star. Uh, jealousy, evil demonic dragon, envy. Uh, it's great. Um, it's really good. <laughs> I didn't realize how good and practical it was going to be until I started making Richard feel sad with it. Um, 828, size 3, 2 gauge, chop deck to soul, but if your life is, um, 6 or less, it becomes a size 0, so you can have both it and Belial on the field, which is cool, or if you're at one left, you can have two copies of it for easy, and its effect is counteract during your opponent's turn, pay a gauge, choose one of your opponent's dudes, draw a card, rest the card, and nullify its effects, but if your life is 1 or less, that card can't stand for the turn period, and also has move double attack and soul guard. Remember that the null it nullifies the effect. I forget that. So yeah, um, great great card. Looks like Magatsu. Kind of. No, it looks like a Kaidus, my dude. Oh. Um, but yeah, it's really really good. Nullifying stuff, especially on call, is cool. It gives you a draw. Um, yeah. Running it at four. No questions asked. Then four copies of Lupus, as it's the buddy, so yeah. Uh, you can only call it once per turn. Uh, that's because its effect is on call if you have another evil demonic dragon. Charge two, draw one, but if you have under six, uh, six or less life, you can draw a second one. And it has cross knives you can just put into the soul of an evil demonic dragon. And if it's in the soul of an evil demonic dragon, it gets soul guard. And if your life is a uh, one, into a six or less, it gets ten attack and defense. So you can make things dummy thick. Like you can make Belial a 23, 3, 23, or Envy an 18, 2, 18. So it just makes them even harder to hit while also getting resources. Yeah, great card. It's a good dog. Best doggo. Uh, next, uh, best primate. Primate, we're running four copies of Evil Demonic Dragon Simia. Uh, on call, you can discard a card to search for 
a monster with Belial in its name or an uh, evil demonic item and add it to your hand. One of the ways we can search Belial, because it literally says search Belial, and that's why I'm cutting Belial down. Its other effect is just really cool. If a size 3 evil demonic would be destroyed, you can destroy this in its place. So, um, it's nice spot protection. It's obviously not the best form of protection, but it comes in handy, so like obviously it's good. Then we're running two copies of Evil Demonic Dragon Griffiths, uh, on call, pay a gauge to 313. All demonic dragons can't be rest and their abilities can't be nullified. And when um, it's placed, you can add a size 3 from drop to hand, another way of salvaging Belial. And Belial protects itself from destruction and bouncing. This protects it from ability nullification and resting. So if you have both of these on the field, your opponent has to nullify their attacks and or... Um, just use an effect that says they can't stand and try to stop the first attack. Good card. Then the great, great spicy tech one copy of Daredevil Crimson, 5-2-1, size 1, um, pay a gauge. It has Shadow Dive, but you run it for its overturn effect, which is if this card's in your drop zone and your life would become zero, drop a card, call it from drop zone, and all of your opponent's uh, cards lose 10k and 3 crit until the end of turn, even if they call new cards. So, this deck exists at one life, that's where all of your, like, your main effects come out, so you're in the danger zone a lot, this helps you get out of it. There's like 3 cards that help you revive. Uh, onto the spells, running 4 copies of great card, Diablo Soul. Uh, pop an evil demon dragon for cost, charge 2, draw 2, but if your life is 6 or less, draw a 3rd card. Great resource game. This deck has honestly insane toolbox potential. Uh, also, he's really sad. I don't even know what his name is. He's just really sad and depressed. So, hashtag Gabe2017. Uh, then, other great card. Four copies of Contract Circle of Evil Calling. Drop anything from hand. Check top five. Add two evil dragon monsters or items, and you can charge the rest. Another way of searching Belial or anything else. So yeah, star um, star card. Great great spell. Other great spell is four copies of Melody of Evil Moon. Uh, so you can only cast it during your opponent's turn if you have an evil dragon on field. You can use one of two effects. You can either counter reduce the next damage you take by uh, reduce the next damage you take to zero and draw a card or you can reduce your life by any amount that you want and for eat for however much you reduce your life by all damage is reduced by that amount so basically you go first buddy call lupus then at the end of your opponent's start step you just use this pay 10 life your opponent needs to deal 11 damage just to touch you um this is pretty much how you get all of your plays off to like the maximum quickest because technically your opponent can play around it, but like this just makes all of your plays go live so much faster. Incredible card. And if you want, you could just use it for the draw effect because it's more consistency. Next is three copies of Negative Survive. You can only cast it during your opponent's turn if you have an evil dragon. You can pay two gauge for the turn Whenever your life would become zero, it becomes one instead. So it's for the turn. So unless your opponent has one of those like Buddy Fight X series impacts that says you can't be revived, your opponent can't kill you this turn. They need to use either one of those impacts or an alt win card like that one stupid, I think it's a hundred demon hero set spell or whatever, but yeah. Great card. You can only use it once per fight because it basically says you can't lose. So that's how you balance it. Next is three copies of Diablo's Dispersal. If your life is one, you don't need to pay its cast cost to use it. You can, but its cost is pop an evil dragon and pay two gauge. You choose one of two effects. Either pop all of your opponent's monsters or pop three of their gauge. Uh, it basically just shuts down Lost World. Your opponent declares the Lost cast this bot through of their gauge. If they're at zero or one, they can't go into Lost World. So I did that to somebody in tournament, and he just scooped. It was great. This is a great card. Uh, suck at Lost World. Then we are running two copies of Diablo's Conversion. Uh, another card that you can cast for free if your life is one, but if it's not, pay two life. You can call an evil uh, demonic dragon from drop zone, 
by paying its cost and that by paying the monster's call cost, so you don't get the cast cost the call cost reduced if you're one, you have to pay that regardless. But if your life is under six, uh, the card you call gets 10 attack and defense. So you can either call Lupus to get resources on your opponent's turn. So you call Lupus on your turn to center, get your resources, it dies, go conversion, call Lupus again and get more. Or you can call Belial for a 23k defense that they probably can't get over. Really cool card, also really cool just for killing because you can call it during your battle phase just to kill. Then we're running two copies of Diablo's Grave. Pay a gauge, add two evil demonic dragons from different with different names from drop to hand. More salvaging, because this what this deck needed was even more resources. Then as the tuck, running one Waltz of the Blood Moon. It's a set spell, and once per turn, when you call an evil demonic dragon, you can charge two. And if your life would become zero, you can send this to drop and mill a card, and if the card you mill is an evil demonic dragon, you gain one life, another revival card. This deck runs, f I think just, this deck runs six not evil demonic dragons out of a 52 card deck, so you have a 46 out of 52 per, well, technically 45 out of 51, because that's gonna be out of deck at any given moment to revive, so, Pretty good for revival. Next, under the uh, generic spells in the main deck, we're running two copies of Time Sail. The reason we're running it is because it's basically just evil demonic dragon support. You can cast it for free if your life is under three. Pay two gauge and two life to draw two. The entire point of the deck is to be at under three life, honestly, so it's just a, effectively another resource card for the deck. Next, we're running two copies of Loyalty in the main because Loyalty is a really good card. It stops decks like um, Fairy Tale or Folk Tale, I guess, because it's good. I forgot. I haven't played this game since Ace BTO3 was new, so I don't really know a lot. But yeah, Loyalty is a good card. Running it at two in the main has been pretty useful. Uh, running one copy of Recover Veil in the main for kind of similar reasons as Loyalty. It's good. It's really good in the mirror match because you can make your opponent discard, and this is kind of how you avoid that. But also, this deck consumes a lot of gauge, so being able to bypass... This uh, Recover Veil can give you two gauge for one of its effects, and it can also reduce the next damage you take by two, so it's actual not discard prevention effects can also come pretty in handy for how the deck works. Then we are running three copies of Everdark Shadowing Umbrella, uh, pay two gauge and take two evil demons from drop and put them into its soul. You can't take effect damage, which bypasses anything that can't be reduced because it's just saying the effect damage doesn't exist. And if your life is one, it gets two crit and 10k. On attack, you can drop one of your opponent's gauge, and if your life is one, you can draw a card and make them drop a hand card. This is why I run Recover Veil in the main for the mirror match. And it also has double attack and soul guard. So if you're at one life, you can kill two of your opponent's gauge, kill two of their hand, and draw two. It's just god punks, but better. Great item. Oh, it's also a 3-1, so it becomes a 13-3 if you're at uh, one life. Then we're running two copies of the Impact Eradicate Avenge. You can only cast if you've attacked twice, which is very easy because all of the size threes have at least double attack. Pay two gauge, choose one of your evil demon dragons and deal damage equal to its crit. So if you're at one life, you can deal six, six, of, six off of Belial. If you're not, you can just deal two or three off of Belial or Envy. So yeah, it's pretty good. On to the sideboard. Uh, we are running another copy of the impact because there are some decks that just can't reduce effect damage. So... Eradicate Avenge is kind of a lot more powerful against those just for closing out games quicker, like against um, Deity Dragons. We're running another copy of Everdark Shadowing Umbrell because the fact that it reduces any effect damage, it, it just says you don't take effect damage, especially in a deck that exists at one life, is very, very helpful. So there are the ma and so while I'm only running th I'm only running three in the main because on top of all the toolboxing the deck does I have a card that specifically search two cards that search items in the form of contract circle of evil calling and simia but being able to any deck that can deal a decent amount of burn damage this kind of can shut down so I run the fourth copy just as protection against things like a Thora or that one deity dragon spell that does the the, the 
burn thing. Running another copy of Loyalty in the side just for the decks that can do a bunch of calling. Running another Recover Veil in the side just for the mirror or anything else that can make me discard. Or at the very least kill my gauge so I can get two more gauge off of it. Uh, running two copies more of Griffiths just for decks that can either rest me consistently or and or nullify my effects consistently just to make sure that Belial can go off. And we're running, just for the fun of it, four copies of Diablo Storm because it can actually come in quite handy. It's, um, for this turn, all evil demonic dragon's power can't be reduced by opponent's effects. And when a size three attacks, destroy a card. And if I do drop it, drop an opponent's gauge. It's good against decks that have really good set spells just so I can get them out of the way. It's good against decks with really good items just to get those out of the way. The power reduction actually comes in handy because a way that people can out Belial is if they don't have, if I don't have um, Lupus in its soul, being able to reduce Belial's power by a certain amount can just make its triple six crits useless. So being able to prevent its power from going down is actually can come in really handy. I've decided to not run Buddy Block just because the main reason you run Buddy Block is the effect that says if you've, they have attacked four times, you don't take attack damage. But we have um, the, what's it called again, Melody of the Evil Moon. So if you pay like nine life, you're not taking effect uh, battle damage anyways, and you're also not uh, heavily reducing any form of effect damage. And you also have the item that reduces effect damage. So I've never really felt the need to run Buddy Block just because I, the job that you run Buddy Block for is kind of done with the main deck already. Um, yeah, I also don't have chest breaks as those are in the mail. So I might put those in depending on how useful they be. But honestly, Diablo Storm has been the most useful thing for this. Uh, yeah, this is my evil demonic deck profile. You'll be getting a legend deck profile hopefully soon. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and play Buddy Fight.